1230 in high definition. It's been 50 years since that landmark Surgeon General's report linked to tobacco use with cancer. Dentists have been on the front lines of tobacco cessation efforts. And Dr. Brian Dunlap of Dunlap Dental is here to shed light on the link between tobacco and dental problems. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Dunlap. Thanks for having me again. I appreciate it. Uh, well, we all know that tobacco use can cause cancer, but you really can talk about the effects of it, how detrimental it can be. Yeah, you know, we're usually going to see a lot of the results with this more than most physicians, you know, because you don't go to most of your physicians twice a year like you're supposed to see your dentist mm -hmm. and so obviously we're going to see you know changes a little bit more frequently than you might be going to see your uh, general practitioner but the mouth the tissues in the mouth are so soft and vulnerable mm -hmm. to problems with smoking and tobacco or dipping uh, mm -hmm. chewing tobacco that it, it's just so easy to get as we're seeing some images behind me here Ooh. Yeah, so easy to get uh, cancer, unfortunately. And I don't think there's anybody out there that's unaware that, you know, mm -hmm. tobacco products are bad for you, that they can cause cancer. So I think, you know, hopefully everybody knows that. And so we really try to watch for the early signs because there are some signs in your mouth that can occur that are kind of precursors to cancer. Okay. And, and you know, we see them and we get really nervous about uh, what it could turn into. And so once we see those and we talk to the patients, usually, you know, we get some good results on them quitting before it turns into cancer. So it's just real important to get everything checked up and your dentists are always going to be ones that uh, keep an eye on that type of thing. What are some of the early signs we can be looking for? Well, you know, one of the leukoplakia is a term for kind of some white patching that you can see in your mouth, and you'll see this a lot with uh, chewing tobacco users, mm -hmm. people who dip. A lot of times when they keep it in one spot, mm -hmm. uh, you will see the tissue get real white and striated and graded. It just feels irregular and it looks irregular, mm -hmm. and it's something that does not rub off. And, you know, it'd be pretty easy to see. So I don't, obviously, we don't want people to dip, but if you absolutely have to, please move it around and don't keep it in the same spot because okay. when you keep it in the same spot you're really uh, going to up the chances of getting some problems in that one spot. And finally there are several ways to quit. What do you recommend as far as there are gums out there and patches and I mean <sighs> is there really a safe way to quit? Yeah I mean way? you know really I think it's just whatever works best for you. There's a whole you know these days there's so many products out there. You see mm -hmm. it on TV, you see it advertises. Obviously I think your your general practitioner could help you with that. I think it's whatever works best with you. I know there's some medications, uh, I believe Wellbutrin and some other things mm -hmm. so that actually have helped people and uh, I've had some friends that have had su some success with that. Obviously the nicotine gum can help you take off that easily and mm -hmm. keep, help you cut back on the cravings. I think it's whatever works best for you. There's certainly so many methods out there that you can go find out what works best for you. And finally, vaping. Um, what, is, what are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, I think there's still a lot of research being done about that and I don't know the, the, the final product of that. I, I do know well, I don't know, but I've heard it's better than the actual smoking, mm -hmm. but I don't necessarily know if it's harmless. Mm -hmm. And I think we're still kind of learning about that. It's like anything else, you mm -hmm. know, if something's brand new, we probably haven't had a whole lot of studies on mm -hmm. it yet. So just be real wary of, of anything. You know, obviously, you know, easy to say the best method is just, you know, don't use tobacco products. But we are realistic and know that people are. So, you know, try to be watching out for these things. Well, Dr. Brian Dunlop, thank you so much. It's always great Thanks to have you Thanks for in. having us again. Go see him at Dunlop Dental.